So today I'm gonna take Silas out to a special event uh, put on by the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center and the Center for Biological Diversity. And um, we're gonna go out and Silas is gonna rub noses with people and we're gonna try to get them to comment on the upcoming wolf reintroduction coming to Colorado. We wanna also help inform people about what it'll be like when wolves get here and how we can all coexist with them without killing them. So um, you know, one thing my wolf dogs do is they um, help a lot or help wherever we can in wolf conservation. Carcass there to kill whatever scavengers or predators, but primarily coyotes and wolves. There were Stanley Young Elk uh, was in charge of the predator extermination program in Colorado and later rose to national head of predator snares of men of biological survey who live rigorous lives tracking down destroyers of herds of cattle and sheep flocks of ranchers in valleys on and on plains. It was after they were wiped out, the forests of the southern Rocky Mountains were wolfless. And that seems satisfactory to a lot of people, but one your ecosystems here. Well, let's talk about how it has played out uh, so far since Proposition 114 and how it's likely to play out. In 2019, we got Proposition <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.